Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do my biggest pet peeves. That's today's video. And I have quite a lot of them. Actually, I don't think so. No, I do have quite a lot. So let's just get right into the video. Okay. Biggest pet peeve no biggest pet peeve number one. I think a lot of people don't like this because um, I see this a lot but this annoys me so much is when someone tells me to do something that I was literally already gonna do like legit I was already gonna do it but because he told me to do it I kind of I'm like it upset me I'm like oh my gosh really I, I already know I'm gonna do it or I won't do it because you told me to do it like I was going to clean my room. I, I did clean it, obviously. I was going to clean my room. And then my mom was like, go clean your room. I'm the one that told her I was going to clean my room. And she told me to go clean my room again. I'm like, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm going to wait another day before I do it. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. It's just, it just annoys me for some reason. Number two. This is kind of weird. Um, Because I don't really go to school anymore. Well, yeah, because of Miss Poor. I don't go to school anymore because, um, I know face-to-face -face classes but I don't like it when people don't push in their chairs when they leave or tuck in their chairs when they get up I think it's so weird and like I think it's just because I grew up that way growing up with tucking your chairs from elementary school so when people don't do that I just like it, it irks my nerves it just irks my nerves and it's like I'm a little I'm just like just push it in or I'll push it in for them like if they leave just because it, it just bothers me. <laughs> um, not, by the way, I'm looking over here because I have my notes here. Okay. The another thing is when people interrupt me or when people interrupt other people. And the reason why I, pe I don't like when people interrupt other people is because I want to. Sometimes I want to hear what the other person's gonna say, and then they get interrupted or cut off, and I'm like. I, I wanted to know what they were going to say. So can you like sit down? <laughs> but yeah, and I don't like when people interrupt me because um, I'm trying to get, I don't really talk much, but like with other people, I don't really talk much, but if you interrupt me, I will honestly get really upset. I hate it when my brothers and my sister, my brothers, I hate it when my brother and my sister interrupt me. I just don't like it. It's very rude. Although I do it to them too. But I do it unintentionally. Uh, I don't think anyone intentionally interrupts people. Well, I still don't like it. <laughs> okay, the next one is... Oh, oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Especially right now in the time that we're in. With Miss Rona. Miss Rona being around. I've never liked this. But it's when people sneeze and cough into their hands. Like they'll go like that. And I'm just like, you're disgusting. I've never liked it. I've never, from the time I was little, bro, ever since elementary, they said, sneeze into your elbow. So you sneeze or you cough like this. You don't sneeze or cough into your hands. And then just go about your day. You have to go wash your hands. And if people don't wash their hands, like, literally, literally, you don't touch me. Like, I don't even want to be near you. Like, that's disgusting. I hate it when people do that. It's absolutely nasty for me when people sneeze or cough into their hands it's disgusting i hate it and if you do that you need to you need to learn proper manners you have to sneeze or cough into your elbow bruh your elbow not not your hands and then be spreading all types of germs to yourself and then you get sick and you wonder why you sick duh it's because you sneeze in your hands and you didn't even wash them <laughs> okay so that was that i, I really hate when people do that um was the next thing when people pressure me to do something of course everyone hates that but for me it's just like i don't want to like and it happens a lot quite honestly <laughs> for me like people when i be with my parents they'll try to be like why don't you do this i don't want to do it sometimes i really don't like doing something I'm like you should do it you should do it sometimes i can't do it but it's just not, i don't like doing it and i don't want to so when they keep Okay, I don't think pressure is the right word. They guilt trip me into doing it. People, guilt trippers are the worst. <laughs> I hate guilt trippers. 
I should don't my parents, but I don't like guilt trippers. If you guilt trip me into doing something, I'm probably never gonna. I'll do it, but I just I'll never want to actually do it of my own will. Cause you guilt trip me into doing it, you made me feel pressured into doing it, and I don't like feeling pressured or being guilt tripped to do something. Um. And another thing is, this is just me being <laughs> weird. When people walk super close to me, or like when people just like, like I could be standing somewhere, and then like they're. This is me. I'm standing here, right? Let's say this is me. I'm standing here. And then for some reason, someone walked by and they, they just want to be super close. Like, why are you leaving so little so little space in between us? Why are you walking so close to me? I don't like it. And I think that the reason why I don't like it is also because I don't like to smell people. And it's weird because I do this because when someone walks past me, I hold my breath so I don't smell them. I don't know why I do that. I, I, I just do that. I think it's... And I do it mostly when I'm conscious of someone walking close to me. If I'm not conscious of someone walking close to me, I won't do it. But if someone... If I literally see someone walk, starting to walk close to me, I'll hold my breath and then I'll keep going. I, I won't make it obvious. I won't be like... <gasps> no, I won't do that. I'll just like... And then I'll go about my day. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a big one for me because this actually really makes me upset. It's a pet peeve of mine and it really makes me upset. I will get mad. Like, I won't talk <laughs> because of this. If someone just assumes that I'm mad. Because for some reason, people think I have an RB face. RB, yeah. An RBF. People. RBF face. I just said face twice. An RB face. People, so this is what I look like when I'm not smiling. That's what I look like. And for some reason, people think that I'm mean or I'm mad <laughs> when I'm not smiling. And this goes hand in hand with the next one I'm going to say. I don't like it when people tell me to smile because I'm like, especially if you're a stranger. If you're a stranger and you tell me to smile, I don't even know you. What am I smiling at you for? <laughs> like, <laughs> I can understand because at graduation, when I got my AA, um, one of the people, what am I saying, ushers type of people, one of them, they were like, you, it's graduation day, you should smile more. I'm like, okay, yeah, I should smile more. Yeah, okay. I didn't really, I wasn't upset when he said that to me because I was like, okay, he's just doing that. But like, you're a random stranger and you're coming up to me and you're telling me to smile. Really? I don't even know you. Like, what am I smiling at you for? And for me, I'm not... When I see my face, like, people just say that I look mean or mad. I'm like... I'm just looking at... This is, I can't... I, what do you want me to... I can't change my face. I'm not gonna go to get no plastic surgery and make it look like I'm always happy. I don't... I don't understand why you... Why people always assume that I'm mad. Don't... And first of all, if you're gonna see me in person... If you ever see me in person... And you think... There's a difference. If I'm talking, or if I'm just like, like if I'm with someone and I'm just listening to them, I'm not mad. If, if my face is just, I'm not mad. You can tell when I'm mad. My brows will usually be furrowed, furrowed, and I'll be like this. Like, I won't be interested in anything. I'll just be, and I'll be quiet, like really dead quiet. If you try to talk to me, I won't answer you. That's how you can tell if I'm mad. If you want to know that I'm mad, if you want to know if I'm mad, try to talk to me. Say like, how are you? And if I don't answer immediately, if I don't answer, like, I'll do a conversation with myself. Okay. How are you? I'm good. If I have a pause in between it, that's when I'm mad. If you say, how are you? I'm good. I'm not mad. <laughs> so, like, there's a difference. There's a difference in my in my reaction time when I'm upset. When I'm upset, I don't want to talk to people, so I won't respond to people. Like, if I'm with, with my mom, and she doesn't know that. I don't know why she doesn't know that by now. Like, if I'm upset with my mom, I don't want her to talk to me. I don't want her to continue talking. Ooh, that would be cute. Ooh, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> I don't want her to continue to talk to me if I'm upset with her. Like, or with anyone. Like, don't keep talking to me. Let me get, let me finish my, my little, my little fit, and then 
I'll start talking again. <laughs> but if you try to talk to me while I'm mad, I'm, I'm not going to, I usually don't respond. I won't respond. But if I have to respond, I will have a delayed response. So that's how you can tell if I'm upset. <laughs> so that's actually all I have for you guys this minute. And this video is at 10 minutes. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know down and below in the comments what you guys would like to see next. I have a lot of videos ideas planned out for you guys. Guys, I want to get to 20 subscribers right now. I know right now we're only at 11. We're only at 11. I know I can get nine more. So be sure to share with your friends, guys, so that I'm not naked. <laughs> be sure to share with your friends, guys, so that we can hit that 20. I want to do a sister tag with my little sister, but um, she said she's not coming on my channel until I hit, like, a 1,000 subscribers. And I'm like... <laughs> that's a long time from now <laughs> but i know we can do it if you guys just like comment share subscribe make sure to share guys share this with your friends share this with people that you think would be interested in this type of content and be sure to turn on the bell and so that you can get notified every time i post a new video and with that being said bye y'all I'm gonna